I'm here to tell you folks, humans are by God disgusting. Not all of us, of course, but there are people, I don't think put on this earth, but there are people on this earth who I swear I think their sole mission is to gross other humans out. So I go into Ryan's and I'm walking around the bar looking at all the disgusting food that they have. And as many of you guys know, I have several pet peeves. Disgusting people are one of them. Public displays of grossness, to me, are inexcusable. Especially from adults. So I'm walking around the bar trying to decide what I want. And this woman looked maybe, I don't know, 50, give or take a booger or two, this woman walks right past the bar and goes, <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? I didn't say that, but I looked at her and went, really? And then just kind of shook my head. She didn't say a word, didn't look up at me, didn't shoot me the bird. I know she heard me because I said it about that loud. There was two or three other people standing beside me, and I, I literally, I looked up at her and went, Really? And, the, you know, the other people beside me, one of them chuckled. I think he was chuckling in agreement, and the other looked at me and looked at her and kind of shook his head in disbelief, like, Yeah, I can't believe that nasty bitch just did that right up here by the bar where we're all trying to eat. eat. And you know what the sad thing I don't know if these people don't know any better or are just oblivious and don't give a damn. Like the people that blow their nose in a restaurant. Oh my God, what are you people thinking? It's usually, you know, the, the people that do that are usually old men with gigantic honkers on their face. They'll lean over and pull this nasty booger filled handkerchief out uh, there's something else I've never understood but anyway they'll pull this nasty booger filled snot infested rag out and just <laughs> wipe their nose three or four times fold it up and stick that nasty shit right back in their pocket what is wrong with you people you know, I want to say, if you're going to be a disgusting pig, at least go wash your damn hands. But, I mean, people that are that disgusting generally aren't concerned with clean hands to begin with, so. Am I crazy? I mean, am I wrong in being disgusted by this? Or is it just... You know, is it acceptable for people to hock up loogies and swallow them standing next to a food bar where other innocent bystanders who would like to go about their meal without fucking puking? I mean, what's wrong with people? Good Lord. I mean, you know, if you're at a picnic or something with your family, you're out at the park or whatever, and, and you're all... You're spread out there with your blanket and you're all sitting down. And, and let's say some man or woman's dog comes by and the dog's just bebopping along, minding his own business, but all of a sudden, just out of the blue, decides that he just absolutely has to, right there at that minute, sit down beside you and lick his nuts and lick his dog weenie and maybe even, I don't know, maybe even his butthole. You know, that's acceptable because dogs don't know any better. Dogs, you know, you, you can't teach a dog not to just randomly lick his butthole or lick his dog pee-pee wherever and whenever he wants. That's something you really can't train a dog not to do because dogs lick their nuts, that, uh, you know. But humans, I believe there are probably humans out there that if they thought they could get away with it, they would park right next to another family and lick their own parts. <laughs>